Hey guys, welcome back. Miss Survival, episode two. This is RC. I'm recording this right on the heels of the other one, so I don't know if you gave me a like or not, or if you've even watched the first episode. Hopefully you did. If you didn't, you missed it. Uh, let's see. So that's the sawmill. We've already been there. It says there's a bear around here, but you know, I don't recall ever seeing a bear out here just me let's go check out here see you know you got to look everywhere just to see if you find anything the big thing right now is we're looking for car parts and those tires I want to make sure this is yep yeah, that's not the one with the Zombros in it all right let's clean up around the outside here there's some wood And yes, you can break up these cars for metal scraps and components, but I tend to wait to do that till I absolutely need it. And also, uh, after I get the sledgehammer. Oh, we got a shovel. I think that's for farming. I haven't done a whole lot with farming. It was kind of glitched out last time. Now, this is an interesting place to make a base. The problem with here is your the hostages cannot get in here these these lips on the stairs like that they can't walk over it you have to jump to get inside but the uh the zombies won't come in here i don't think and if they do you can go upstairs and that is going to be all the protection that you need couple of couple of rolls of duct tape that's awesome Let's see, anything, yep, good deal, more wood, glass pot, another duct tape, holy cow. All right, let's head up on this side, we'll climb the ladder, and let's see, there's usually some goodies around here, yep, there is a tactical helmet, uh, we can equip that right there. Uh, we've got a suitcase. We've already got gloves, so we're gonna we're gonna leave that. And we will push this down there. Make sure I didn't miss anything. No, nope. oh wait. Is there something right here? No. I'm stuck. Oh, crap. I am stuck. I had to crouch to get down. How, how bizarre. All right, down here. We got a candy bar, a soda. All right. And... Can I not... Yep, yeah, there we go. It's just easier coming out that way than climbing down the ladder sometimes all right we're gonna leave that right there and we're gonna come up on the other side now I think that's the side with like most of the stuff this is kind of a living area it's too bad you can't like actually sleep on this because that would be awesome but you know you got a little radio for some tunes we've got some food in there for eating later and this is actually a pretty nice place. I saw, uh, I think it was Cage 848, and that's what I needed right there. And I think I've, I've found a gas can in here every time. The other thing you can find right behind is the inventory upgrade. That was two slots. So you can see we started with two rows, and we've added uh, several opportunities there for more storage. All right. It's almost three o'clock here in the early going I do try to get back to my base early what I'd like to do if you were not aware you can build a little chicken wire fencing right and you can use that to 
keep zombies out and give you a little safe haven. It won't keep them from waking you up, but what we're going to do is we're going to put that right there for right now. Close the door. All right. You know what? I'm going to, no, I'm going to carry the gas can with me. I was going to store it in the truck, but now I'm not going to. All right, we got a branch. I already have some sticks. I need all of these. Duct tape. Uh, chocolate bars. Axes, Coke. Don't think there's anything in there that I need. Nothing there. All right, I need that. More sticks. And I'm going to go ahead and stick the feather over there. Yep. All right. So let's make uh, let's make our sticks here real quick. So we've got 17. That'll take a half hour. Luckily, it goes real fast. Not a minute for minute for sure. All right. So what I'm talking about is if you go into your B, your build guide, and you go under the housing and then these chicken fences. Now they cannot climb over these here. But I don't know that I'm going to have enough to do all of them. Yeah, that's coming out fine. Now, the good thing about these is if we decide to move to another base, then these will be able to be broken down. Now, I want to cancel that one. And then I want to put a, a gate in there. But that way we get the spacing right. Good. And then we're going to go there. And you want to give yourself enough room to come outside without being, you know, being worried that they're going to be able to hit you just stepping out of the door. First time I ever did that, I uh, made that mistake. And I don't think they'll be able to walk through there. So let's go ahead and start building this. And I don't know exactly how many components and whatnot that I've got. I've never been able to actually get the fence done on the first day. Okay. See, I need three more. So that is going to happen there. It's 614. I'm going to go ahead and take down a tree. I know you supposedly chop faster if you look down like that, but I think you knock more off like this. And I think we've got till about 7.30 before, you know, nighttime. All right. It is getting late, so I'm going to call that an evening, I think. Let's see. I need four, five, ten. All right. So let's do, I've only got six. That's disappointing. So it's 630. All right, 
So we need to finish that. So that'll be the goal for tomorrow is to get three more of the components and then to get some more stick gathering done. Um, other than that, I think we've got everything else. So let's see, I've got my gas can. I do not need, oh, wait a minute, hello. I got eight more of you. Okay, so that is done. Damn, if only I had a few more sticks. It's after seven though, I think it's too late. I don't know what time they come out. I think it's kind of like the mist as long as the birds, but better safe than sorry, I guess. Let me kind of get a clue as to what I'm gonna do tomorrow. All right, I am going to want some lashings, so let me grab this, all of our fire starter, our leaves. Um, nope, nothing in there. All right, I tell you what, I'm going to take that and our Coke. All right, let's go back into our build menu. That's not it. We're going to go to our inventory menu. There we go. So there's two menus. You have a build menu, which is structure and building, and basic crafting is I. So I want lashings. I can only make one. It will take 15 minutes. I'm going to save that if they are in the middle of the night. So I tell you what, I'm going to call it an evening. We're going to go ahead and eat here. That'll top us off with just a little waste. And I will see you guys in the morning. All right. Well, it was a pretty uneventful night. I did get woken up once. Had to turn my light on just to check things out. All right. So that's actually complete. So let's, let's go ahead and chop down another tree. It'd be helpful if I didn't miss it. I am going to need leaves and sticks out the wazoo. But I know they'll fall off to some extent when I hit the trees. I could just wander around, but... All right. Let's see, another leaf. All right. Anything up here? I guess I'll turn the light on until the sun comes out fully. All right, there's a feather. And then what I'm going to do from this point is I'm going to go out and try to round up the rest of our car parts. That'll be my next priority. And then once we have the car, then we can decide where we actually want to build at. So this will not be a daily upload. This will be a couple of times a week. Um, I did find a way to do multiple saves, I hope. I am hoping it works. If it doesn't, you'll never see this episode because I want to continue playing my personal save. So if you are seeing this and you heard that comment, <laughs> then guess what? It worked. All right, don't need that. All right, this is a great area for feathers. I don't know why, but it is. One of the best areas I think I have found in the game. All right, let's go ahead and drop all this stuff inside. Uh, we actually want four, right? So let me make four more sticks. 
just those and we'll finish this up boom and there we are we are we have our little courtyard here uh, we can now come out at night when the zombies are here uh, we can stabby stab them I do need to find a knife so we can uh, hopefully I'm going to eat a couple of these chocolate bars just to make some room. All right, we're going to do that. We've got a lot of leaves. Uh, I do have some lashing. All right, we're going to put that there. More feathers. I'll store the wood. I don't have a rifle yet. And I could store the shovel. So I've got water, the gas can. I'm going to bring two things of fruit just because I don't know how long we're going to be gone. And you know what? I'm going to bring the Coke because I'm going to need a drink fix before I do anything else. All right. Let me let me think here. Oh, I can't I can't hit the pause button while the game is saving. All right, so off to that direction, we've got the barn we went to. We've got the other barn that has undead in it, and then the mine is off beyond that to the top to the north edge of the map. There's a little subdivision over this way in that distance, so I don't want to go that way. All right, so what I want to do is I know exactly where I want to go, I think. It's going to be kind of back where we started. And then we'll start swinging around the other way. I've really got to find a knife, and I think I know where there is typically one at all times at the start of the game. Oh, I also have my gas can, so I need to start pulling gas out of the... Uh, if you follow that road, it just swings back around. It parallels the main road, and then it swings back around, so we don't want to go that way. You do want to cut up here. There's the garage. We've already checked those cars, so there's nothing else there. We had already run over the container to there all right so let's come up here I really don't want to draw the bear because I don't have any I mean I've got the shotgun but all right there is our gas can some gas because we got to have some go-go juice to make the truck run having all the parts without having anything else doesn't really help us. Was that a stick? It was. I don't know that I needed that, but all right, we've got a few gallons in there. Good. We are pretty close to the bear, but I don't think he'll aggro on me over here. And don't leave your gas can in the truck or in the, in the, in the slot. Again, these cars with the dark windows, you can't do anything to them. You can break them up, however, and uh, get components, metal scraps. Sometimes they'll drop a battery or a uh, spark plug. All right, let's come in here. Let's just cut. Oh, I can turn that off. Sorry about that, guys. All right, nothing up there. I just want to make sure we've gotten everything here. And I believe we have. All right. So main road is right there. And you've got this trailer park here. There is another one, I believe, up this way. Right there. And that's where I want to go right here. 
So there is, and actually you can run down the, the back side of this house over the hill, and that brings you right down to the gas station, right? All right, I think there's a knife on this table, and there is. Awesome. All right, these are priceless. This is actually where I'm building my base. Uh, but what I'm going to do, I don't need these in the early game. These are good for later when you're kind of getting settled in. You can also take these lights with you down the road. In fact, you know what? I'm not even going to worry about that. I'll get it later. Uh, another axe. That's incredible. Anything in here? No. So again, if it's a solid window, the zombies cannot break through that. Windows with the boards, they can. And then they'll climb inside. So you'd have to, if you come in here, what you can do is use that same chicken wire. And what you want to do is you want to put it in the window like that. And when you build it, it will actually block the window. They'll still knock, knock out the boards, but they cannot break those fences, at least for the time being. All right, another knife. That's awesome. I am going to keep that knife, however. All right, I don't need that. I do want the components and sticks we will work on as we progress. So again, because they can, they can break us here, they can break into the house. You don't want to be here, but what you might be able to do is jump up on this rail and then get up onto the roof here. If it'll let you, mine is not letting me. There we go. So we can get there and then up on this roof and you could sleep, you, you could stay up here through a mist and they would not be able to attack you. Uh, right over the hill, right there is the garage, but the bear does wander around over in that area, crosses the road, and then is in the trees across from the garage. So just keep that in mind. Uh, you can break the trailers up. Those will drop components as well. All right, I'm going to run this out here because we're going to want to bring that back with us. In fact, I'm going to leave it right there. Uh, yep. Yeah. All right. So let's do a quick save, and then we're off. All right, there's that trailer park down there, just for reference. And I am going to run up here just to give you another reference point. There's the garage that we, uh, that we already hit up. So our house is over there. So we want to go the other way. It's out the back side of this house. I think. Or maybe I've got the wrong house picked out. I think I've got the wrong house picked out. That's okay. That is okay. All right. I do want to carry this with me. All right, so this was just more storage. I always try to bring one thing of storage back with me. So I'm going to drop this down at the road. Oh, I know what it was. There's a house. Oh, and we are dehydrated. Uh, so let's drink that Coke. You notice the red dots on your health. That means you're taking health damage. So the Coke is only liquid refreshment. The fruit is food and refreshment liquid. So you kind of want to save it for when it makes sense. All right, so there's the garage that we want to get to. Now, I need two more tires, and we're going to leave this here because we will come back this way 
That's what it was. It's out the back side of this house. All right, fair enough. I don't want to go up too close to that side. Again, the bear, I want to put eyes on the bear. So that area on the other side of those two cars, he will browse over that area. Otherwise, he's on the far side of the He's on the far side of the gas station, inside the hotel parking lot, and making his way down that road. So that is something you want to be aware of. All right. If he's not on this side, and you'd see him in the trees right here, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to pull everything we can out of here. And it's weird with the gas. It doesn't matter how much gas is in it. It takes the same amount of time. All right. Again, I'm always looking for places to... Oh, there's a spark plug. I don't really need it, but we'll take it. It's always six minutes on the gas. And I'm just looking for the bear. All right. Well, no bear. So we're going to come around. And there's a battery. We can usually find a battery there. And I've got space. Now, another place. If you ever need to get salvation, jump up on these trucks and get up on top. And you can hang out up here. You can actually attack them from up here. And you can sleep up there. Um, what I want to do, I don't need the baseball bat. Now the bear, I have I have seen him in the garage sometimes. And he is not there. There's another tire. A gear, that's important. This workbench, we will be able to bring that with us at some point. I'm going to bring it over here where it's just... Well, I was going to bring it over there. I'm going to bring it over this way where it's just easier to get to without worrying about the bear later. And I want it down near the house or I'll forget about it. So we'll bring it around the front side of the house. I do have another tire. So I need one more tire. Ah... Uh, and I'm drawing a blank on where to find it. So I'll come back. Oh, you know what? I think I know where there's a tire. I think I know. All right, we're going to save it in case we get killed. Now, FYI, the bear can get in through these doors. Hiding in there will not do you any good. I like to catch the bear. You can jump up on here. Not there. Up here. And the bear cannot get you. And you can just kill the bear right here. FYI. Okay. I am going to make a run. The bear's not on this side. So I'm going to come around. He must be down the hill. No, there he is right there. You see him? There's a tire right there. And screw it. I'm going to run off. I got the tire. We've got everything we need for our vehicle. Run, 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 run. <laughs> Don't ever deplete your stamina if you're in a bear area because the bear can outrun you pretty easily. And tell you what, let's put a cut right there. I'm going to go ahead and get back to camp. I'm going to get the truck set up. And then we'll set out in the truck next episode. Start looking around. I think I've got everything. I got a spark plug, two tires. 
I've got two more tires and a battery. Oh, crap. I do not have an engine. Where's the engine at? Usually it's in one of the two garages. Did I miss it? Now I'm thinking, it, but I don't remember seeing it. All right, well, I still need an engine, so I'm screwed. All right, well, we're not going to hit take off in the truck next episode. So what I am going to do is I'm going to bring back. Looks like we have a mist coming in too. Crap. All right. Um, just for me to be able to salvage time. I'm going to get up here. All right. So I will wait through the mist. I will get the workbench or the locker, probably the locker back to camp. And then I will give some thought as to where I can find the darn engine. I know where there's an engine. I know where there's always an engine. It's at the military base by the White House. There should be more than one in the game, but if I didn't find it at the garage, so I will show you guys a shortcut to the White House next episode. Hit that like button for me. Subscribe if you're new or don't mind and haven't done it yet. And we'll see you guys next time. Take care. Bye.